Welcome to Titans of Terror, where we look at the men and women who have shaped the horror landscape. Today's victim, uh, subject, is actor and author Gunnar Hansen. Stay tuned. Gunnar Milton Hansen was born on March 4th, 1947, in Reykjavik, Iceland. His father was an Icelandic dentist, and his mother was Norwegian. He moved to the state of Maine at age five with his mother and brother. By age 11, they moved to Austin, Texas, where Gunnar attended high school and the University of Texas at Austin, where he ultimately majored in English and mathematics. He also attended graduate school there, studying Scandinavian studies, then switched back to English. During his college years, he began working in a few theater productions and some student films, including the play of Mice and Men. In the summer of 1973, just after graduate school, Gunner auditioned for a role in a locally shot film called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Gunner thought, hey, this would be fun to do, not thinking of the lasting impact this movie would have. He landed the part of the mass killer Leatherface which required him to play a mentally disabled member of a family of deranged cannibals. It was quite a grueling shoot in the Texas heat in August. One particular shooting day lasted 26 hours. During the filming of the movie, he accidentally sliced the finger of co-star Marilyn Burns after a very long and tedious day. After the success of Chainsaw, Gunner acted in one other movie called The Demon Lover. He then turned down an offer to be in Wes Craven's The Hills Have Eyes, instead moving back to Maine and trying his hand at being a writer, which was his true passion. For many years, he wrote and occasionally edited for magazines, which led to writing books and films. Most of the books are historical books, and even a book of poems called Bear Dancing on the Hill. His most well-known book is probably Islands at the Edge of Time, about the barrier islands on the U.S. coast from Texas to North Carolina. In 2013, Gunner wrote Chainsaw Confidential about the making of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the lasting impact that it's made. In 1987, Gunner returned to acting by appearing in Fred Olin Ray's Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Many other B-grade movies followed, including Campfire Tales, Mosquito, Freak Show, Hellblock 13, Replicator, which is probably now best known for appearing on Rift Tracks, the ultra-violent murder set pieces. In 2013, he returned to the Chainsaw Massacre franchise by appearing in the opening sequence of Texas Chainsaw 3D. He also came up with the original story for the film Death House, which was marketed as sort of a horror expendables. On November 7th, 2015, Gunnar Hansen tragically passed away from pancreatic cancer. He is survived by his partner, Betty Tower. In 2013, I had the opportunity to meet Gunnar at a local horror convention where he was just the nicest guy. He reminded me of a big old teddy bear. And I actually do have a fun story from the convention. Uh, my wife and I were walking around the hotel before the convention, and Gunnar Hansen asked us in the hallway where the convention was being held. So, yep, we helped Leatherface get to the convention. Gunnar Hansen will forever be linked to playing the iconic Leatherface, but he was so much more. Actor, author, documentarian, and historian, among many other things. The Bat salutes Gunnar Hansen, a true titan of terror. <laughs>